Eric, what was the best screenplay that you've ever read, and was that script ever turned into a movie? Mm. That's a tricky one. The best screenplay I have ever read. That I have personally read, I would have to go back to Aaron Brockovich. I would say, I mean, you know, there's hundreds of thousands of others out there that I have not read. But of the ones that I have premeditatedly sat down with and read more than once and made notes about and so forth, I would have to say it was Aaron Brockovich. And that's why I use it the way I do in class. Wow. Susanna Grant uh, taught me a great deal about screenwriting in that one script. But what was the other part of the question? Oh, well, it was the script turned into a film? Which oh, most definitely. Was, yeah. <laughs> it was definitely, definitely done so. Mm -hmm. But you know, there's something else here, if I might. Uh, I, I encourage people and point them in the direction of studying good movies, the screenplays of good movies, but just as valuable, every bit as valuable, and in some cases more valuable, is studying the screenplays if you can get your hands on them, but certainly studying the movies that bomb, movies that are really bad because they can teach you just as much as the good stuff. They can teach you what not to do, what doesn't work. And the idea to really get good at the craft is to get build for yourself an analytical eye. And if you want to get good at analysis, look at some bad. The movies you hate, I mean, everybody comes in and says, ah, what's, what's your worst favorite, you know, what's the worst movie you ever saw? Ah, like, oh, I don't know. I said, okay, get that movie, and I want you to see it three times. And they freak out. I'm going to go spend time with that piece of, you know, all this kind of stuff. And I say, guys, think this thing through. If you really hate it, you have to know why. Just telling me you hate it accomplishes nothing. You have learned nothing. What you have to learn is why do you hate it? What ways, in what ways has it let you down as a creative undertaking? Nobody sets out to write a bad and make a bad movie. Nobody. They may set out to be, ah, well, you know, we'll dash this piece off and it'll be, you know, we'll get some money out of the market, you know, but they don't intend that it be a bad movie. Movies go bad for a whole, a whole swath and stack of reasons. And we need to know why. We need to know why. I was, I'm not, I'm not going to mention some titles. I was thinking about some titles. I don't want to go there. Uh, uh, but I've learned an awful lot from screenplays and movies that are not good. Why are they not good? Learn that and then you're growing as a screenwriter.